Which parrot is more intelligent, a macaw or a mini macaw, a hand macaw? Somebody asked me to do a comparison because they are thinking of getting one of the two. So let's talk about comparing these two birds. I'm going to talk to you about the fact that I don't think it's intelligence so much as lifestyle and their interaction with you that is probably really significant. Hey guys, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parablis Bond and the new book, Get to Know African Grey and Cape Parrots. <laughs> I'm hanging out with my Catalina macaw today. Uh, if you are here to get inspired, to learn a little about parrots or just hang out, you're in the right place. My mission is to help increase your blissful bond, reducing the need for rescues. If you already knew this was Kailani, maybe you're used to hanging out. I love my fans almost as much as I love my parents. What perfect timing. Kailani just lunged at me. That's one of the things that I was going to talk about when it came to lifestyle and the lifestyle difference between these two birds. This bird is half trying to get my attention, half just treating me the way that they often treat each other. So, um, she's not really hurting me, of course. If she was, I'd be going to the ER. Be nice. But she is demonstrating the fact that macaws Hey, be nice, be nice, relax. Uh, macaws can really have an attitude. They know that they're big, they know they have a big beak, and they are known for being intimidating. Now, a hand's macaw is similar. Emerald has this little needle of a beak, and um, it can be sharp. Nothing like this monster's beak. This monster, my Mac monster, as I lovingly call her, um, she is, she's a thousand grams more than emerald. We weigh parrots in grams because it gives us a more precise measurement. And I think it's easier to understand. A number like emerald is somewhere, I believe, is she, isn't she around 150? Uh, I think she's about 150 grams and Kailan is not a thousand grams more, but close to it. It gives you a pretty good comparison. If I gave that to you in ounces, which I'd have to figure out, it wouldn't be a good comparison. And I would be like, Emerald is like two ounces and Kailani's like two pounds or something like that, or one pound, something like that. Nope, that's not right. Anyway, uh, intelligence. Let's talk a little about their intelligence because that was the original question. Kailani and Emerald, I think they have similar intelligences. When we talk about intelligence, the thing is that the scientific community or people in general talk about a parrot's intelligence. They measure it as a parrot's ability to solve problems. Notice when you have your macaw, you don't really want to put them on your shoulder. I just really trust her. Uh, why? Because they can bite your face and a lot of people have gotten really injured. Okay, so they talk about generally like an ability to um, understand concepts kind of thing because like they understand that they can use a tool to try to get the treat they're after. Ability to problem solve, try to get the treat in different ways, that kind of thing. Uh, I don't think that if you get a pet hands macaw or a pet macaw, you are going to sit around trying to have them solve problems. If so, I don't have that information because that's not what I do. My guess is that if you're looking at getting one of these two species as a pet, you really want to know which one's going to probably bond with you at a more emotional level or what the lifestyle difference is going to be. So what I'm going to talk to you about, be nice. Do you see how she lunged at me, but I grabbed her beak so that she knows that she's not the big bad wolf. We both are. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to talk to you about is you could see that Kailani's trying to engage with me. Sometimes she really looks at me, which is really fun and interesting. Right, Kailani? 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 They are both capable of learning tricks, if that's a part of the intelligence. They're both capable of talking. Um... <laughs> I can't say that one really talks better than the other. There's her rock of my baby trick where I have her go on her back. She didn't exactly love doing it today. Up, oh, there you go. Good girl. Hi, Kailani. Hi, Kailani. 
They both really want to engage. If I was getting a baby of either of these, I would get two because they're going to keep each other company and that way I'm not going to have a parrot that plucks, that's needy, that is dependent on me for all of their well-being, their fun, their socialization. Think about, you know, what you have. You have family members, you have extended family members, you have friends. So both of these parrots are social enough that they're gonna need those things. Both of these parrots will self-preen. She's preening herself right now, giving herself some head scratches. Um, so they're, they're similar in those ways, differences. Like I said, this one, has a bigger beak and she knows it. Emerald, um, you know, she's not like that. She's not like the big bad wolf. <laughs> she's like a little tiny wolf. And so it's it's no big deal. Lifestyle wise, uh, if you had a big townhouse and you weren't worried about neighbors complaining about sound, I think you could easily get away with a um, hands macaw. If you really didn't have to worry about sound, you might not have to worry about a macaw, but I really like for my macaws to have the space out back to fly around, be out, get some fresh air, those kinds of things. What are you doing? Are you eyeballing the perch? Um, so I feel like space is a really big thing. If you have a bird this size, you need a really big cage that I can fit in, I can stand in. And so I think space is a big part of that lifestyle difference. Another big thing for me is this is not a bird I can put in a bird backpack. I was thinking about that. I'm like, I don't think there's any bird pack, pack, backpack that I know of that she would fit in. Or I'd have to like cut a slit at the back for her tail to go down into. And I don't think she'd be comfortable. I don't think it would really fit. I don't think it would really work. Emerald is a bird that I have taken with me places in the past. So that means that with Kailani, it would be more important to me with the macaw to be able to do something like give them the ability to be out back so that they can have some fun, they can fly around, they can have a change of scene. Whereas my hands macaw, I can do that. I could take her to someone's house for lunch. I could put her in the birdie backpack and take her almost anywhere. I think those are really, really significant. Um, their diets are very similar, except this monster gets half a cup of nuts a day and Emerald gets a tablespoon and it can be like a C tablespoon with maybe some, uh, maybe a, a pistachio, something like that, or whatever, you know, that's fine. But far less. So you are talking about a big difference in um, the cost because at a thousand more grams, she's eating more. All right, I think my guests are here, so I think I have to run. Uh, I hope that helps. If you did get help, please be sure to um, do the super thanks if you are moved to at parablis.com and make sure to check out our Valentine's Day merch. There is our golden conure and I'll catch you in the next feathered video.